Oh, Persia are choosing to uh, use their units to siege a random city in the middle of my empire. You know what? As long as you're doing that, you're not actually using your units anywhere that's helpful. So I'll take it. One and two. Oh, not quite. Three attacks. There's another city taken. The score's doing pretty good. Still got 11 turns. I have 10 cities left to conquer. As long as I can conquer one city every turn from this point onwards, we're okay. And this is where the Hatoi are going to absolutely come into their own. Look at the movement they've got over the road. To clear that horseman though. That is blocking my movement in a very frustrating way. Actually, can my hoplite come and clear this? Yeah, you pretty much can. The ranged attack. Yeah, perfect. Right. Alexander can make it. Oh, no. There's still another spear. It's these spearmen. They're just... All they're doing is standing on the road, stopping me from moving through. It's the most annoying thing. Come on. Just clear the units. Clear the units. That's all you need to do. Just one little victory at a time. Just one after a time. Oh, sometimes you get the low damage rolls and you're like, ah, oh, I really needed to get that kill. I don't care finished though. That's useful. Let's... Okay. Yeah, just use this. Use use all of my new buildings to build like what I'm doing is I'm getting the encampment building it on the road to the next city and then just sort of catapulting from there the Tusa has been attacked we've got Pura is going to get double attacked as well I can't get the general oh no I can get Alexander a little bit closer but I feel like that's a vulnerable position for Alexander to be in so I'm not going to do that but yeah just two regular attacks it doesn't matter if we lose some health every now and then you know it's all good 10 turns remaining however if another general all two movement I like two movement generals oh this is a 10 combat strength one movement that's one to have at the front line man it, it, it's the turns that the AI puts a unit into the city those are the ones where you sort of go oh that is pretty strong uh, I also need this general I, I, actually I've got a new general haven't I? Uh, I need one always following Alexander the Great like always following them otherwise the troops at the back of the path just can't keep up also these ancient roads are really annoying route movement of 0.75 the amount of like calculations i'm having to do where it's like two tiles 1.5 movement four tiles three can i move it can i not it's just like ah, oh, can't keep up can't keep up but luckily i don't need to worry too much alexander the great has very good movement and as soon as my unique units get into range of the city oh yeah there we go see this is what i mean 0.75 movement oh that's frustrating. Just how much can an immortal do with a ranged attack? Really not a huge amount, actually. But do I have the movement? Again, this is one of those things. One, two, three. I should have the movement. I move you round one. I can go... No, I don't want to use the ranged attack. I need you to go one, two, and then attack like that. There we go. That's better. Take the city of Pura. Beautiful. That's a load of terrain. That's wonderful. Oh, man. I think... I'm just looking at this again. I think the only two cities now are the two city-states. Those are the ones that Alexander needs to be near. So really, Alexander has much more flexibility on movement now, which is good. Oh, and this helps. Yes, an encampment right next to the front line. I can just spawn a unit in from this immediately. 108? No, I need horsemen on this plane. Or do I focus on getting... Oh, so where are the troops? Where are the troops most needed? This city-state is strong. But it does have very poor garrison strength. I'm going to need tough units on that one. Yeah, 180. And means I can get another 180 in this city, actually, which is pretty useful. There we go. Another one. As long as I keep buying units. I mean, yeah, the, the production in my cities is, is negligible. I'm just getting them all to do these encampment projects just to give me more gold. And I'm buying more than a troop every turn right now. It's quite handy. I won't lie. Nine turns left. Nine cities left to conquer. It's okay. Not panicking just yet. It's just, oh, this, this though, Patel. If, if there's a if Varu sat in the city, it's uh, 42 strength. Uh, 52 strength, I should say, which makes it quite scary. This city state as well is very scary. <laughs> Not entirely sure how we're going to do this, but you know what? If, if anything, this, this scenario has been quite entertaining just in terms of pure thought. Like I've, I'm playing this game so differently to how I would normally play it, and it's it's working really well. The game's making me think with my own brain. I don't like it. Half of the trick of this mode seems to just be moving the troops so that they always end up in range of a general, so that next turn they can slingshot. It's, it's actually harder than it looks just to manage this like every turn. Okay, movement wise, we're doing okay so far. Just keeping my units moving through. Getting this city is going to be good because that unlocks the pass to Patala, which is very handy. I could also take it through Kabul, through Taxilia that way as well. I mean, I've got to take all the cities eventually. So it's not really a case of like, well, getting one means I haven't got to take another. I've got to take them all. 
Uh, at some point as well, I'd love to upgrade my units, but we're moving so fast right now, I physically don't have time to. It's very strange. Eight turns left. Yeah, there's still a lot to do. There's still a lot to do, but we're converging my armies now. Oh, 48 strength. Yeah, if a, if a horseman sits in that city, nigh on impossible. We're, we're not going to be able to do much damage to it at all. Might need more catapults thinking about it to get through these, just so that they can sit behind and shoot over the top whilst the rest of my army kind of sorts itself out a little bit. We're closer to the next general. Pretty close, actually. Pretty close. That's good. Pushing through to this city as well, which is a welcome side to start upgrading my units though. As they, whilst I'm not taking wonders, it's kind of one of the few ways that I can actually heal. The marauding, oh I like that promotion, that is a really handy promotion. Alexander failed to take a city this turn though. These trees make this very difficult to get through. I mean, Patella, oh, yeah, I need to send just a huge cavalry army down that way, don't I? Just to siege it. 240, I mean, it's it's the movement four. They're just by far the, the quickest thing that I can send down that way. It's I mean, if the problem is, I just show you yeah, 58 strength. Yeah, we can, we can do decent damage to that city. Actually saying that, I can afford two of my swordsman units. That's what I'm gonna do. They're very, very strong. They just can't die. The enemy just can't hit them hard enough, so they're very effective for that. Plus, they have a natural counter to the spearmen, which are causing me the most problems in this direction at the moment. 98. Oh, come on. Doing that deliberately now. Have a general, 10 combat strength, but only one movement. What's the next one? Back to another movement-based one. Okay. Well, the last settler. Got eight turns to settle somewhere. Um, that'll do. Up there. They don't need to be good cities. They just need to be cities. <laughs> Turn 30 out of 37, we still have seven cities left to conquer. This turn though, I do feel a little bit more confident about the fact that I might be able to actually get a city taken. I'll leave Alexander on this side of the city so that I can pull units back towards Batala. Yeah, I just, I need to prioritize taking that city state, I think. In the meantime though, with the city surrounded, I should be able to go one. This attack is not um, assisted, but it doesn't matter because that should be enough to take the city. There we go, one city taken. And now I push in the other direction. There you go, my land army is going to be heading in this direction now towards Batala. It's where Alexander's going to be going, at least until I can switch around and send him to the other side of the world. This is just, this sort of attack is, is just weird. Attack with the catapult, such a weird thing to do, but I'm going to do it. Perfect, okay, right. We are just now pushing down on this city. I have all of my land units making their way down now. The legions of spearmen that I'm coming up against are very much annoying, but I'm doing everything I can to bypass them and see how the game responds. They're just gonna attack my units over and over, but I don't mind their spearmen attacking my swordsmen. That's not a bad outcome. And the city somehow is weakened again, which again, I like. I like the, yeah, I like this a lot. Oh, Alexander the Great. It's spending like just turn after turn moving units. It's so far away. That's the biggest problem here. Stuck on this really annoying mountain pass, but yep, I guess that's just how it's got to be. How do we get through here? There's too many units. Too many units. That's the problem. This, is, this immortal is tough. There's a battle cry unit just below though, so that's good. This one can come in and, oh yeah, 58 strength. Oh, come on. Oh, like low rolls like that. They do not help when you have so few moves to use in a turn. One attack. Let's just try to move my units from the furthest reaches of where I am right now to make these attacks. Okay, we're burning through units. We're, we're breaking through. If we can break through, give ourselves a good opportunity to attack this city. I'm not going to take one this turn. That's the problem. We've still got six to take. Turn 31 and 37. This is going to be right down to the wire as to whether we can do this or not. Look at the size of the army I've got. This mountain pass is going to make this so difficult. Kabul. Yeah, Kabul is going to be an absolute nightmare to take. As is Syria. Oh, that's that's tough. This is why I'm building um, this battering ram. I'm moving it up to the top of the map. Another great general. Any more? Yep. Okay. Another combat one. I, I'll, I'll take it. I will take it. Oh, so many encampment trainings are being finished every turn. I know it's only two points on each project, but they add up quickly. Yeah, that's right. Just attack my units. Attack my units. Oh, yep. That's perfect. That was absolutely perfect. Did you see that? They just nuked their own unit into me, which is wonderful. And Patala is suddenly three. Now, all of the units have been changed slightly. So for instance, hoplites don't get a bonus when they're next to other hoplites. I wonder, has the Varu been changed? 
Still got the minus five combat strength. That's the bit that I was most curious about. Okay, we will keep an eye on that. I think my best strategy here is gonna be just to bypass the Varu as much as I can. Just totally ignore them. Totally ignore them and just go for the city because if we can kill the city state, it's gonna give us a huge benefit. But look at that, suddenly, oh. I'm going to do no damage to this city at all with my unique units. Oh, of course. Oh, the combat penalties are multiplying. Oh man, I'm going to have to, I'm going to have to kill some Varu. That's ridiculous. All right. First of all, I'm going to let them attack me. Got some more troops. I've got reinforcements on the way, but there's no point making that attack right now. That attack probably is worth making, but apart from that, yeah, no, we'll just have to hold off. But yeah, reinforcements, reinforcements are going to be needed here. And the horsemen are now meeting me in battle on this front, which is really, really scary. Horse archers, not so fussed about. They're pretty easy to kill, but yeah, the top of the map, this is cramped and it is horrible. Is there any way I can kill this archer without getting close to it? Um, yeah, actually, I think there will be a way. Where's my catapult? <laughs> this, again, feels weird to be using catapults like this. If I can clear that tile away, I've now got three avenues to attack this city, which I'm going to absolutely take advantage of. Uh, here is my combat general. One attack, two attacks, three attacks. Bam, city taken. Okay, five more to go. Five turns remaining. Cabal is next. Oh, blocked by immortals, though. That's really tough. This is the funny thing. As much as I could buy a spearman in order to counteract the horseman, it only gives plus uh, 10 combat strength. So it's actually better to have my unique units. They, they do more. Just the weirdest thing. How do I get through? There's a defensive river. There's all of these spearmen and horsemen on top of that. And I've got to somehow get siege equipment up to this city. Let's not forget that. Archers help, actually. Yeah, thinking about it, archers might help me to clear the troops to the north. So we'll pick up one there. I need to just move a great general around in order to make sure that it can get into combat next turn. But that's fine. We can do that. Get a second one there. Yeah, I, I like this strategy. It seems a bit weird, but I think it's effective. I dread to think what these Varu are going to do when I... Oh, actually, hang on. Let me just quickly... There we go. He named them all after himself. First achievement. We actually got that. That's really good. Yeah, I, I dread to think what these Varu are going to do to my army. I just hope it's not so bad. Um, I'm flinging units now. I'm going to make use of the Macedon ability to remove war, war weariness from the equation. That's pretty good. Actually, they all attack me. The good thing about the fight to the north, yeah there's a lot of troops up here, they can't replace themselves when they die. So I've got an advantage if we can get the kills. But this, this is not good. There's so many Varu here that I can't actually break through. But just killing one helps with everything around it. So maybe we just have to sit here, level up a little bit. I feel like Alexander the Great is not being best used. Just sat here though, that's the problem. Move my troops around a little bit. Give yourselves commando. Move you to there. Give myself battle cry. Just gotta maybe just fling my units here and try and take out the... Va Actually, you know what? That's... Do you see that? I can get around the back in this way. That removes a lot of the combat strength. So let's do that. Let's go one attack there. Cross the river. Kill the Varu. No. Oh, I didn't kill it. That's so frustrating. Actually, the Hoplite works well. That's a strong unit. That'll that'll do some damage to the Varu. And the Immortals and Archers are on the way to pick them off from the other direction as well. My trick to crossing the river is such. I fire an Archer over the top and then finish off the unit with an attack like this. This is how we're crossing over. Keep shredding units one turn by another. Don't let them pin you back. Keep moving forward. Doing it though, we're pushing all of these units back quite nicely. Oh, I don't know, I mean, Kabul, maybe I'm gonna have to attack Kabul from two different directions here. There's a distinct lack of troops in the nearby area. More catapults, I, I just feel like catapults at the moment, that, that's just speaking to me, is something that's gonna help. It's a lot of science going into these reinforcements. I'm just, I'm just sort of going, oh, this feels a bit, a bit like what should happen. Another good, great general as well. Oh, another, like we're getting so many. Is, is there a limit on how many great generals we can get or is it just endless? I like to think it's endless. 
Okay, the Vara are going to move around a little bit. They're going to attack my units. That's the best bit. I'm just hoping we're going to have a little opening now. In fact, I might have a little opening, you know. You know, this might not be the worst thing. Cross the river, kill a Varu. There's a Varu in the city center. That is less than ideal. However, this is about as close as an opportunity as we've had in some time. Plus, look, the Immortal can fire outside of the range of the... U oh, yes. This is good. Uh, I can then also just pillage this for some health and move around to that tile. My hoplite can then come forward and make an attack. Once the archer has done the damage, push through. City is sieged. Okay, at this point, right now, Ursa, in all honesty, couldn't care for the health of my troops. Patello is going down. It is going down as fast as I can hit it. I feel like we've broken through. There's too many avenues for them to defend now. This has to be it. This has to be the moment of our attack, of our assault. I can't take this city until Alexander can teleport through next turn. Oh, my battering ram can almost get up to the north, um, escorted by some def uh, units that can go and take Syrah. Yeah, no, this is this is a priority. I just send my units up in this direction. The catapults are also making their way north as well, which is really handy. So that's what I mean, though, about, like, just sort of throwing units forward a little bit here. I, I just need to get the attacks off like this. One, two... Kill the units. Get ourselves into a situation where I can siege the city as soon as we can. Only five cities to conquer. I just don't have five turns. So we've got to do we've got to do a few every turn. Got another general. I'm getting one of these like every turn at the moment. Man, I wish there was just a, a nice general at the end of the game that was hidden away. That turns out to be crazy powerful. Okay, let's feel the damage. Let's feel the damage with three turns remaining. Go on, show me. Two turns remaining. Oh, not the AI is doing that thing. It's just not moving the units around. Okay, as discussed, it's really a case of can we destroy this city? This is a sacrifice plate. I'm just going to kill that unit there. There we go. Do some damage. Means I can three up a really decent attack like that. Get one more unit to attack and then the hoplite to finish whilst Alexander the Great is there. Perfect. That gives me a Varu. 40 strength Varu. Yes. Oh, that feels like a breakthrough. That feels like a breakthrough. However, Alexander the Great now has to disappear. You're needed on the northern front line. In order to do that, I need to get that general out of the way. I calculated this before. I do have the movement to transport to this city next turn. Yeah, this is where the catapults come in pretty handy because I can attack. However, I seem to have mixed up my great generals. I need the one that gives me 10 combat strength. Yeah, there we go. Look at that. Fire over the top to Kabul. Just that little bit of extra damage there. That makes all the difference. I wish I didn't have to keep pressing that. Oh, there's a beautiful mod I play with which is just sort of automate city projects stuff like that you forget how useful it is until you start playing with it well now that the city of Patala is done we need to just move north move north I realize though that I've only got plus five generals there have I got a spare plus ten anywhere have I got a spare general I've probably got a spare general somewhere be honest I have about 500 of them uh, I might do in a turn or two I was combing my units through the Arabian desert just on the off chance the game was gonna throw a city like without telling me into it but uh, luckily luckily we haven't found anything like that it's been okay the game isn't trolling us or just hiding us with a sneaky little sneaky little extra city somewhere it's just the ones that I see cities have to conquer four. Oh, this is gonna be so tight I think they just broke the siege on this city, which I'm not a big fan of. However, it shouldn't matter because Alexander the Great has now made their way to the front line, which means, hopefully, I can actually catapult with Alexander the Great's ability, which is stronger than my regular general in this area. So hopefully Syrah's walls can come down. Yep, they can. That's good. And I can attack there. I'll be next turn. We'll take that city on. That's pretty good. However, if I move to there, the siege is resumed. Brilliant. I have about 500 archers ready to start attacking this city, which is brilliant. I'm just going to quickly make another sacrifice play just to do the damage. As I say, keeping the army alive right now, not a big priority for me. One, two, three, four attacks like that. One attack, two attacks, three attacks, and then four. That city's taken. There we go. 
I got the achievement for having all of the units when I took a city because there's a horse archer. So one, two, three cities left. Turn 36 out of 37. We are playing it as close to the line as we possibly could here. I don't think I'm going to take the city this turn, but I've got enough troops in this area that I think I can probably do it the turn after. Do I attack the city or do I... You know what, actually, I'm going to break this encampment in order to just make the attack a little easier on the city next turn. Oh, I didn't have the general there. Missed out on five combat strength. Varu comes up now. Okay, this city's looking pretty surrounded. Kabul as well. It's looking pretty surrounded. And I luckily have the catapults here, which will make this slightly easier. One, two, three. Take the city. Kabul is taken. Two cities left. There is a road here. There is a road here I can use. It's just I have to dig it out from all of the enemy troops which are currently sat on it. All right, let's see how this plays out. Let's see how this plays out. Zero turns remaining. Ugh. I love the fact that Varus don't get the... I think... No, did they get the bonus? They get a small bonus from the general, but it's, uh, it's not the biggest thing. Uh, if we can take Syrah, I'll feel a little better about the situation, uh, which I can, luckily. One city remaining. Can we do it? Can we take this city? Oh, the Immortal is sat right on the pass. They know what they're doing. They're blocking the city with everything they've got. I don't think there's a way we're going to be able to hit through that unit, which is a bit annoying. Alexander the Great could make the way through. Actually, that's not too bad an idea. Let's do that. Hang on. Let's just teleport Alexander the Great into Kabul. If there's any advantage that I'm going to take, then this is, this is how I'm going to do it. It's the fact that there are no bridges across the river. This is also something that I am finding a little frustrating. Hang on, let's think about this. This Hattori can attack round, I think, one, two, three, four, five, six. I think that that's not a hill tile, is it? No, it's not. This immortal can cross the river as well. This great general can pull themselves. It's only a plus five. Can pull themselves to the front line there. <sighs> One, two, three, four, five movement. Yep, we've got enough movement there. That's fine. And I can move you to this tile. This is going to be so close. Like, I don't... Oh, this is so close. Like, I think this is close enough to be within RNG roll on whether or not I get enough damage here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to save the game here and I'm going to give it a couple goes because I think we are within range of taking this city. Like, I can't believe it's come to this. How close is this? But I think it's just on the randomly generated dice roll of something. I can't... Yeah, I think that's exactly what it's going to be. We're going to do an immortal attack to take a little bit of strength off the city. That gives it minus one strength. Now I'm going to use my weakest unit to do some damage like so. That now takes a lot of health off the city. Then we've got minus three district. We do another attack from the north. That takes it to like half health. Oh, nowhere near enough. Nowhere near enough, but it's close. It's very close. Let me have a play with this uh, combat to this side because I, I feel like I, again, there's, there's something I could probably do here. I can clear the immortal off that tile. I can clear the immortal off that tile. That's interesting. That's really interesting. Oh, that means I could get a toy through and, and like possibly clear this. Let me have another play with this. This is what I was playing with, this tile. If in theory I could get a ranged unit onto that tile to fire at the city, that might be the decisive difference. This archer can't get there. This catapult can't move there because of the zone of control. That's the problem. So this, this immortal is equally being really annoying. My starting play is to move my unit to this tile to do the damage because then when I kill it, I can kind of leave that tile open. That's, that's the hope. And I have the archer. The archer can move onto this tile and again, can shoot just over the top, which I'm going to do like so. The immortal could move into maybe this tile. What did I do last time? I think I swapped these two around, didn't I? Oh no, that, ooh. I put it in the city. I think it's a bit of a glitch, but we'll take it. That's fine. That means, oh, it's going to low roll me that time. Okay, well, I guess we deserve that. Fine. Well, look, th this is what I'm doing. I'm creating a space where I can bring that unit through effectively. But it's about what I'd do with that opportunity if I had it. I don't know if there's anything that I can do that makes it particularly useful. I can attack that immortal, but just not with enough strength here. 
to really move it off. No, not easily. It's a shame I can't just delete my units. That would be that would be more effective if I could do that. Yeah, this archer doesn't have enough movement to get onto that tile to do anything. The only thing I can think is to get a better great general onto this southern flank so that when I do the attack on turn 37, so I'd have to go back to turn 36, pop it into Patala and then go 1.53, 4.5. It would be a little bit of movement, but if I, if I change my great generals together, could work. Could work. Let's try it again, just see if we get a slightly better damage roll this time. I don't think it's within range, to be honest, but you never know. Sometimes, that, I mean, it feels a little lower. It does feel a little lower, but no, we're not within, uh, yeah, we're still 22. I don't know if that's any stronger or weaker. Yeah, I'm going to go back a turn. I'm going to go back to turn 36 and make sure that I bring a plus 10 general down to the southern front line. I think that's the only way we're going to do this to rig enough combat strength here because i mean look plus five that's so close i reckon that'll put us within range All right let's try that again so we've gone back a turn we have a fairly easy run of it i think alexander the great had to come up to this tile which allows my catapults to move to that tile and then to that tile and then to go one two onto syrup yep that was it i remember now and then go one two attacks and that'll sync up the next turn but we needed to make sure that we take this city. So what I did from memory was organize all the archers into a nice line and go one, two, three, four, sacrifice play, one attack there, two attacks there, and then moving you to there to get the third attack to take the city. Okay, now this is a plus 10 general. So what I'm going to do now is knowing what we know now, move you into the city and then teleport you over to this direction now they've got six movement they'll go 1.5 3 4.5 which will give two tiles access to a better attack which is pretty cool i'm gonna cross you over cross you over last time i took the encampment that did lower the strength of the city i also noticed that not having units on the right side of the river was a problem so i'm gonna move across with a couple of units like this. I'm actually going to attack the city first. Yeah, just to lower the health a little bit on that. Oh, I didn't bring the general in, so I've missed out on a little bit of damage there. Ah, uh, is that gonna, is that gonna, mm, keep pushing, keep pushing. Come on, Asa, don't let up. And then there was Kabul and these annoying units. Is there a way I can break through on these tiles to give myself a better advantage? That is a good question. I can move or I can use my horse unit through that. That's interesting. Don't think I want to do that though because I do want to bring my catapult in to do this attack and that attack otherwise it was just no easy way of doing it. However, last time I moved my horse in, I could move the immortal in. That would be enough to then make an attack, which I could do easily enough. I've got my horse unit in there as well. But now my immortal is way closer to the front line. Way closer. Again, what I'm gonna do is change this slightly. Remove the builder, but put the plus two general, plus two movement general into Kabul rather than the plus one. Bring you to there. That means when I make a unit, it's gonna start with two extra movements. So if I do an archer, that would be four movement. Would be, ugh, still wouldn't be enough, but I could put something a little stronger, like another one of my cavalry units. Yeah, actually that's a six movement unit, then I can come through and attack something. And then I'm going to attack that, and then get the immortal to attack. Oh, doesn't have the movement to. It's annoying, but it's fine. I can kill that unit with the immortal and bring the archer in to then attack this unit to weaken it. Oh, oh ho ho. I feel, I feel a little bit better about how that's gone. That feels a little bit better. We'll see if that works out. But uh, to me, to my innocent little Ursa mind, I feel like this has gone a little better for me this time. Let's see how the AI responds to this little move. Yep, okay, so the city has a little bit less health this time. That's really exciting. All right, first of all, let's move the general off the tile so that we can then take Alexander the Great. Uh, oh, actually, saying that, just leave you there for a turn just to make sure my catapults can do that. Take the city. Good. Now I'm going to move you down to Kabul. Now, if I can kill this unit with ranged attacks, I can clear the tile and move through it nicely. I'm just going to move you to there. My Hattori there. Move my archer back a tile. She to the top. That leaves it clear. Oh, we have an extra unit, everyone. Let's move the general as close as we can. And this general as close as we can as well. You move to that attack. You move to that attack. You move and kill. Which 
clears up the zone of control. So my plus 10 uh, general. Oh, okay, right. We've got we've got much more coverage now. Annoyingly, we've actually ended up with slightly less troops. <laughs> <laughs> and, what? I guess because the encampment means that I can't push this unit through. Could be a problem. Can we just kill the encampment? Is that something we can do? Get you just to attack that. Let's move you back. I think you're the weakest unit, so we'll kill the encampment. That lowers the city strength a little bit. 2.25 movement. Don't have a huge amount, so we'll go to that. City is sieged. You move forward. Immortal, come forward. Do the ranged attack. It's a little bit of damage across the river for a little bit more damage. This one comes in. This one takes the city, and I believe that is the victory. On turn 37 or 37, the deity version of this scenario. And looking at the like pieces that I still have to move, I have no more players. This is as optimized and as brought out and as strung out as this tactic could get. I can't believe we've pulled that off. That is absolutely crazy. No more worlds to conquer. Ah, oh, domination victory. We did it. However, I didn't get all the achievements because I only got Alexander the very good. I didn't get Alexander the demonstrably great. How on earth do you get that? That's interesting. There must be another mechanism that gives you score outside of just taking the cities. Let me have a look. I'm, I'm going to have a go and have a look at that. Ah, it's cities. It's cities. I had to settle a bunch more cities in order to get the top score. Okay, so we actually, we did the, <laughs> we, we bit it in the time we were supposed to, but it's this bit. Um, cities founded. I had to found all of the cities I could. Hey, I mean, otherwise we got three of the four achievements. It just means we're going to have to come back to this some other time. I might do this off camera. I don't know. It was really, really good fun. But getting settlers would be pretty easy, to be honest. I had most of my cities generating great general projects. If I just had them making settlers, I would have had plenty. We'd have just settled into Egypt. We had a bunch of space in Arabia. So that easily could have been done. If I probably would have changed my strategy a little bit as well, I probably would have left Egypt alone for a bit longer than I did as well. I would have just charged to the right of the map and then moved my Alexander general back in order to defeat Egypt last because it was actually quite easy quite undefended so actually heading east quicker probably would have been best there you go I hope you enjoyed it though that was the first time I've ever played that and I'm pretty impressed we got the victory on deity so yeah other scenarios to come let me know in the comments if you enjoyed this something a little bit different let me know strategy wise if there's anything you think that I could improve on that you consider to be quite handy for this scenario I'm always intrigued always keen to learn and remember, pop along to Discord because there is a huge 10,000 strong community of Civ players on there. So come along and say hi. Otherwise, I'll be seeing you all next game. Next series. Goodbye. And finally, a very special shout out goes to Glorious Petra, Matthew Wilkinson, Paul Coffey, Portland, Scott Stratton, Major King Kong, Davalek, Skeptical Bear, Kroger Brand Trail Mix, Alex Noob, Cinnamon Beard, Petra Ryan, Matthew Hatch, Rom88, Radio Torre, Private Selection, Genoa Salami, Boyzoro, Callum Billy, Garrett Gowan, Polar Bear Ray, El Truant, Creston, RB Hedged, Mushkin Mandeltort, Ezri Dax, Debel Time, Shoelace, Burial, I'm Daft, Gooberman, Clint Tennis, Dr. Bobby, Polar Wallaber, Mixamatosis, NTG Golfman. Thank you everyone for your support. See you all in the next video. Goodbye!